Welcome back to The Hive Doctor, your beekeeping mentor. It's my job to take the guesswork out of beekeeping for you. Today we're going to be talking about a potential way to deal with the viruses that Varroa might spread. So stick around. So as a beekeeper, I feel that it's kind of one of my obligations to stay up with beekeeping research. And I do okay at it. I don't keep up with everything. It's too much. But uh, I encourage you to do the same to a level that uh, matches your interests and, and endeavors. But also as a beekeeper, I deal with Varroa mite. We all do. And uh, there's several different ways to treat for Varroa mite that... Uh, some of them, they range anywhere from not effective at all to kind of effective to some of them kill the varroa mite. And I'm a fan of that one. Uh, but the problem is we don't really have anything to treat for the viruses that they spread. Well, one of the things I've been keeping up with is a potential solution to the viruses that they spread. And uh, what I'm going to be going over today for you is something I learned through a video that I'm going to link below so that you can watch that too. It's, has, it's not even from my channel, it's a different beekeeping channel based solely upon the research for honeybees and the advancement of making them healthier. So today, one of the things that I'm going to be practicing is, especially during the winter, that's going to be my kind of my step one, is to take old comb, you know, already drawn out beeswax, and um, actually spray it with an apple cider vinegar water mix. And I don't know the correct ratios, that's something I'm still experimenting with. But I use uh, Bragg's apple cider vinegar, I'm not affiliated with it, uh, but it has something called the mother, which is kind of creepy, but it also means that it's like the healthy version, so that's what I go with. And I got a nice quality uh, spray bottle. And although this does have the mother in it, and it's a good thing, I have to filter that out so it doesn't clog up my spray bottle. So basically, with my spray bottle, I fill up this bottom portion with apple cider vinegar and the remainder with a warm water, and then I mix it up really well. And then I spray my frames. Now, the idea with how this is supposed to help with battling the viruses that Varroa might spread is that the study in the video that I referred to earlier shows evidence that certain viruses thrive more in a highly acidic environment and that they thrive less and in fact the spores or whatever you want to call them of these viruses when exposed to apple cider vinegar actually open up and are exposed to being destroyed. That's just me paraphrasing it. That's the way that I understood it when I listened to the video. So I'm going to be spraying my winter comb with, apple, with an apple cider vinegar mix, but I'm also going to experiment spraying my bees lightly uh, when after a winter uh, is gone and spring comes around uh, to see if it's going to be something that helps. Now in the past, I have used apple cider vinegar in my sugar syrup solution to lower the acidity because honeybees really, really need an alkaline blood uh, bees don't really have blood, they have lymph. Honeybee biology relies on an alkaline environment inside of their body. And when we feed bees sugar syrup, that is a highly acidic food that really messes with their alkaline body because they're ingesting that acidic syrup. So I have mixed apple cider vinegar in with my sugar syrup to lower the acidity so that the bees have a better time with it, but I feel like there's more than I, there's more that I could do. So one of the things after, from learning that uh, bees need that alkalinity, that alkaline environment, and an alkaline food, or at least a low acidic food, uh, like honey, natural honey, in order to thrive, I'm personally going to try my best to stop feeding sugar syrup in the fall, because beekeepers of old realize that that leads to nosema or dysentery or pretty much honeybee diarrhea. Uh, feeding a sugar syrup solution in the spring doesn't seem to be nearly as detrimental to a honeybee's health 
but whatever we can do as beekeepers to lower that acidic environment and raise the al alkalinity of their diet, um, I'm going to try out and I recommend you kind of experiment with as well. And there's one more thing that, a reason why I spray my old comb with apple cider vinegar solution, and that's to help prevent or take care of moldy comb. When it comes to moldy comb, I used to put it into the hive because the bees would clean it up. They were really good at that. But some of the things I've been learning lately is that bees really need a healthy respiratory system in order to metabolize their food appropriately. They have completely different digestive systems than you and I. And to support that digestive system and their metabolism, I'm not going to put moldy frames in my beehives anymore. Despite their ability to clean them up, I don't want to expose them to that mold. And mold has uh, a negative effect on anything with a respiratory system, like us and especially honeybees. So just to kind of recap on that, I'm using apple cider vinegar uh, to combat moldy frames so that when I put frames back into my hives, uh, that vinegar has taken care of the mold and the bees can clean it up clean up the frame and get it ready to use for brood honey storage or pollen storage and the second thing is the potential of an apple cider vinegar mix being able to combat certain varroa mite viruses that they spread throughout the hive and in that video which that's linked below they specifically mention the three particular viruses that they saw improvement on when exposed to apple cider vinegar. And that was the, the shrunken wing virus, deformed wing virus, the virus that causes paralysis in bees, and one other virus that I can't remember at the moment, but it's in that video. So totally check that out. See what you think, comment below and let me know what you think about this. But this is something I'm gonna move forward with I have used apple cider vinegar in different ways before, like I mentioned, never in this manner or for this reason, because I just simply didn't know, and I saw no detrimental effects. But there's always a risk of things that have not been properly researched, so it's up to you and I to kind of do that for ourselves, because we can't wait around for universities to come out with better ways to keep our bees. We need to figure it out for ourselves now before it's too late in my opinion so thanks for sticking with me in this remember comment comment below subscribe give me drop me one of these and let me know what you think until the next video i'll see you there as always thank you for watching to my apprentices don't forget to drop me one of these check the description and the links below for the tools and equipment and gear that i use and don't forget to subscribe